okay guys so let's look at the another task in experiment number three in exercise number one you have given a task in which you need to perform some of the thing based on the let's say you want to read the the characters from the beginning of the file equal to the half of the size of the file let's say right so if any operation you want to perform based on the size of the file you need to know how to get the size of the file okay so i'm going to demonstrate if you take any random file as input how you can display the size of the file by writing a c code so let's write it uh, so i write let's say int main and i write the structure of main like this and i am returning here let's say zero okay now i need a file descriptor so i open a file descriptor let's say fd now in fd i will open with the help of open system call a file and save the file descriptor and whatever the value will come i will use lc system call on this fd and i will set offset as zero and i will make that pointer set till the end of the file so when i set the pointer at the end of the file my location in the file will be the end character so lc if you look at the return value of lc it returns the number of bytes as per the location we are as per the offset from the beginning so if we save the return value of lc that will be the size so if i am saying i am declaring let's say another integer file size then this lc will return the file size and store in the variable file size and i can print the file size so it is as simple as that okay so if i want to print the file size i can use printf but mind it whatever the function i am using when i am using open i need to know that which header file i need to include when i am using printf i need to know which file i need to use when i am using lc i need to know which file header file i need to use because i haven't included any header file here so if i print here uh, the size of the file if you want to print the file name let's say file name i will print with s is colon and the size i will print as integer and i will take here two variables so the second variable i am aware about that is file size file underscore size the first variable let's say if i want to take the file name from the command line so i am taking two argument in main int argc the argument count and i am creating a character pointer argv so there is a vector which will take the command line argument i hope you must be familiar with how to take the argument from the command line okay so i am taking these two so that i will type the file name on command line and inside the program i will read it right so my file name will come in argv0 so if i want to open i can type here argv0 it will store my file name which i will pass okay or argv1 because zero will give me the uh, my a dot out and then one argument will store whatever the file name i will give now i want to open this into read only mode so o underscore rd only i can set here right so i hope this is okay so i am opening argv1 so instead of this s the very first argument i can print argv1 okay now almost the code is ready but i need to include some header file mind it i am not checking any error so as a good programmer you need to apply the checks whenever you are using a function you need to check the return value of the function so that you get to know that whether that function is working properly or not so because i am using printf i am including stdio.h
I am using open so I need to use unistd dot h I can include fcntl dot h also so I hope these three header files will be sufficient to do the task okay now let's execute it and try to check what value it is returning so I am compiling with the help of GCC exp03 underscore 001 dot c it is compiling fine no problem is there now once it is compiled I am let's say running it with a dot out but I need I am passing one file name here so let's say exp 03 underscore 00 the same program I am giving at input and I am typing so it is returning me the, the file size of the file the file name is this this is my source code is 242 characters okay you can give any other file name let's say I type ls and I am having sample.c so if I give sample.c a dot out let's say I type here sample.c it will give me the number of characters in this there are 574 characters in sample.c so this is the file size there are two things you need to remember the very first thing is the return value of lseq is the the place or offset value from the beginning okay so if you store that value return value of lseq you will get to know the present position of your pointer in a file right and another thing let me open the code when you are using anything like the program and if you are using let's say open system call or anything better to apply better to apply check on fd so you need to check whether fd is storing minus one value or not apply if a statement and check the value of minus uh, one for fd in case it is minus one then return an error message okay right similarly when you are using lseq also you need to better to apply the check on file size right so i hope this will help you to do the exercise of experiment number three okay next session onward we will be discussing experiment number four so thank you everyone for connecting i am closing it